Hard to believe it's been 40 years and the boys are going back to the Bowery. We are talking with the guys from Alabama as they are getting ready to head back to where it all started. And I'm just excited about this tour. This is good stuff. So you guys are going back to Myrtle Beach, doing a show next week to kick it off. And then all kinds of tour dates throughout the summer. Are you ready for this, Jeff? I better be. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen either way. So going back home, Randy, let's talk a little bit about hitting it back to the Bowery and, and doing the free show there that you're going to be doing next week. What does it mean to you to go back to where it all started, 1973? Well, it was my idea, so it's just so it's just obviously incredible. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's just brilliant. <laughs> no, uh, re really, we started in 69. Okay. As, as a group and uh, then in 73 we went to this place uh, after negotiating that uh, winter uh, to go to the Bowery and the, the big thing was simply we wanted to be able to write, mm -hmm. we wanted to be able to perform uh, some of our stuff and that was our dreams, uh, you know us three guys, I mean it's kind of like uh, that was what we dreamed of. We went to the Bowery and it was really, really tough for a while, it really was, because nobody in that area had ever seen anything like us. And, uh, you know, we played and sang like country, country rock, whatever. We could play anything or sing anything, but that was really our style. So we developed the style from doing all those songs for tips and, you know, that we have today. I mean, we don't really feel odd at playing uh, a song by the Doobies or you know, a song by, you know, uh, Eddie Arnold or Merle Haggard or, because we had to cover all those songs, you know, to make tips. So that's one thing you learn when you're working for the public like that. One night it's a bunch of college kids, the next night it's uh, some guys, uh, they're coal miners from West Virginia. Right. So you sing Country Roads, you know, 15 a times, time, a bunch of times. So <laughs> Whatever the $20 bill is wrapped up in is what you sing? Well, our hundreds. Now, we, oh. had, we had motorcycle guys that came in. And one lady that came in, and she had a bunch of hundreds in her uh, bra. bra. <laughs> and she gave Jeff, I don't know how many of them to sing, Room Full of Roses. Uh -huh. No, we didn't know that. I knew it from an earlier time. Mickey yeah. had it out, and that's where she was hearing it. But uh, it, she pulled out that hundred and said, Give me an elf, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learned it real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we, could, we told people we could play the songs backwards, too. Yeah. And we would trick them because we'd just turn around backwards to the audience and play the song and get another tip. Because that was, you know, it was all about, you know, the con game. We had all kind of handshakes we did, you know. Well, the show has progressed considerably since I'm those sure. days. No, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Same stuff still works. <laughs> Teddy, what was it about that area and, and that time that was so special that allowed you guys to really find your sound and, and become the Alabama that everyone knows and loves? Well, I think, it's, you know, what Randy was talking about is we, we covered, you know, every week, you know, we would cover the latest songs that came out, whether they were country or rock or if we were on the charts. We try to learn because we, you know we need somebody to request it and give us a tip for it. Teddy's one of his real big hits was "Show and Tell." <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, we couldn't really play it, but he could play it and mm -hmm. sing along. We could play along with him a little bit, and uh, the drummer could play it a little bit. But that was a big hit at the time. Right. Who sang that song? I don't remember who sang it. Crickets. I have no clue. Uh, well, that's course. a Google. We'll You're have to Google that. Years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have that one. <laughs> but that's the thing. Here's the cool part about it. 40 years, your music is as relevant today as it ever was. You have fans that are 5 years old to 95 years old, and now you're going to be going out and doing these intimate settings, which I think is so amazing. And what do you think this is going to open up for you guys, Jeff? Because you've got the diehard Alabama fans that are going to be out there at some of these smaller venues, but then you've got a whole new generation that also loves your music. I feel like we're going to bring back a lot of memories to the established fans and like you say we're going to gain some more and they'll be making memories so uh, if they can enjoy their self have a good time listening to us and more power to them I love it. Back to the Bowery. Alabama guys, look for them. They're going to be out on tour all around the United States this summer and then they're hitting the seas in October I want to go on the cruise. Can I go yeah. on the cruise? Yeah, sure. 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 Absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah. You can you stay with me. <laughs> okay, you heard That's it here. My wife. It's on the record. <laughs> I love it. Alabama right here on Tennessee Mornings.